Hey, hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your monthly reading in love for September 2018. This is a general predictive card reading, so for more extensive readings, you can book them by clicking on a link below. Your every comment earns you an entry to win a free reading. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified for when you win. Remember to check out your past video predictions. They will resonate more clearly then when that time has arrived. Okay, Taurus, I have blessed, shuffled, and meditated over this reading just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere of the month. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. The Four of Cups, Taurus. The Four of Cups. This is an offer. This is waiting for the right opportunity, but you might feel some apathy. This is a divine gift, but you're not looking. Be open. There is room to grow, but you might need some rest and feel like withdrawal. You do have options. This offer, it may bring you joy. So you're contemplating. You're drifting and dreaming before getting back to the daily grind. You feel indifference and dissatisfaction, maybe some boredom, maybe daydreaming, and withdrawing from some emotional situation. You seek introspection, and you might be tired of a situation. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path, the immediate future. Number 11 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Justice. Number 11, justice. You could be dealing with a Libra, but this is balance and legal matters. It's karma and justice will be done because balance is required and lawsuits will be won. You're striving for truth and balance and trusting divine order. All you have to do is be just. Your hard work really does matter. Now deliberate calmly and carefully before you take action. You need to be cautious and have prudence and be careful. Rely on your inner self. Divine justice cuts through illusions and picks out the facts. This is the ability to tell right from wrong and a reminder to always keep your promises. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The King of Swords, bringing in air energy. The King of Swords could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This is someone that also wants to be fair and have balance. They're a stern figure. It's because they're involved with mental work. They'd be a good counselor. And they speak with eloquence. And they give you sound advice because they know. They are fair and they always speak the truth. So listen for the correct approach. This person has connections. They always believe in keeping their word and they make a very charming leader. Your fourth card. It's the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. The King of Pentacles, bringing in earth energy the King of Pentacles. Two kings in a reading stand for minor counsel. This king could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. They're a wealthy, mature man, an investor who will profit from you sometime in the future. They're a dependable, solid citizen, and they're kind to others. They're security. You need to express your needs and undertake what should be done and just do it. This could also stand for Taurus in the month of May. This person takes only few risks. They're disciplined. They have their eye on the bottom line. They're thoughtful and they're sensual and they treasure comfort. They're generous and calm and patient and a very good family man. Your fifth card, this is the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. It's what's unseen. Number two of swords. The two of swords in the Rider Waite deck. This stands for indecision and stalemate and postponed decisions. It's stasis. 
this is a stressful decision. Maybe in love you have a choice to make between two people. Seek more information. You need to look honestly at a change that needs to be made. So ask questions. You need more facts. Contemplate options. And listen to both sides of the story. And good comes from a courageous decision. So collect those facts. Thank you so much, Taurus. Thank you for your likes and subscribes and comments. Please keep them coming as I'm trying to grow my channel. Bless you. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light.